Hey guys, what's up? Tom here from MC Gaming, and in this video, we're going to be installing the Zombie Fly mod for Minecraft 1.2.4. So, um, we're going to go right into it, and it's going to be a nice, easy tutorial, and I'll show you how to install it without getting any black screens or anything. So, uh, you want to go to the first link in the description, which will bring you to the farm, which is the Zombie uh, Mod Pack farm, and uh, you can scroll down a bit. And uh, you'll see a current version 6.1 for Minecraft 1.2.4. So all you have to do is hit the download link, and uh, it should only take a few seconds to download. And uh, wherever you have it saved uh, to your downloads, uh, come in your download folder. You can put it onto your desktop, so it's just handy to have on your desktop. You can see it. Uh, what you want to do then is once you have the mod downloaded, all you have to do is go down to your Windows icon, click it in the search bar, type in percent app data percent so it's percent app data percent I uh, will spell that in the description and a folder should come up saying Roman and uh, once you open this a window will pop up and you'll see a bunch of folders in it now at the very top you'll see a dot minecraft folder and before we go installing any mods we always create a backup in case something does go wrong so you want to right click on it you want to go copy and you right click on your desktop you want to go paste so wherever you want to put your backup you paste it to so just make sure you copy and paste it and make sure you create your backup in case anthony does go wrong so now that this is your backup so if you forget about it and you don't know what the dot minecraft is you might forget about it all you have to do is rename it so um, right click on it and you go rename and you can just call it um, backup 1.2.4 and that will be there and all you have to do is uh, delete the one if Anta does go wrong and you can replace it but that's just a backup so now like I said when you're on Roman click double click the dot minecraft you'll see a bin folder you want to double click that in here you'll have a minecraft.jar on some computers it could be called just minecraft and uh, that is your minecraft.jar too it's just some uh, folders and folder options can have puts the .jar at the end of the file so tell it's telling you what kind of a file it is um, so yeah watch out for that in case you do just have minecraft and it should be the largest file in the bin folder so just yeah there are a few signs for it but it usually is minecraft.jar so now what we're going to do is open it so you want to right click on it you want to go open with and you will need to archive a program. Um, some of you might already might have some on your computer. Uh, you'll have to download one on the internet. I, I'm using WinRare and I suggest using that or 7-Zip. I will put a link to WinRare in the description where you can get a trial and uh, it is very useful. So yeah, go ahead and download that if you don't already have it. If you already have it and you're uh, back at the video and you've got it installed, just open it with WinRare. Now your mic Minecraft.jar will open up full. You want to put a full screen. Uh, what the first thing you want to do in here, you'll see a bunch of class files. At the top, you'll see a few folders, and you want to look for the folder in capitals called Meta INF. Now, what you want to do is to click on it. And you want to right click on it, and you can go delete files. It says, "Are you sure?" You press yes. So it's just gonna it come up the little window there, and it will uh, delete it. So that basically what the folder does, it is um, it stops mods from spawning and working. So that's why you get black screens. A uh, few people load. That's probably the, the number one reason why people get black screens is because they don't uh, delete the meta in that folder. So now what you want to do, you can leave this folder open. Just minimize it. You can go to your zombies fly mod. Put this uh, half screen. Put, go back in your Minecraft chair. On your zombie mod uh, pack, you want to go to the classes file, the folder saying classes. And uh, in here you should see a bunch of class files. Now what you want to do is highlight all of them. And once you have them all highlighted, you want to drag them or copy and paste them into your minecraft.jar. If it's on add and replace files, press OK. And it should do a little flash indicating that it did extract. So you can exit out of that now. Open it up again. In here you should have a config text also, you don't need to worry about the source file, just in your config text double click it, you should have a load of text documents and you'll be seeing uh, a load of things you'll know from Minecraft smelting items. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our bin folder where we had it and just click dot, dot .minecraft at the top. Now if you've already lost me and you close this by accident, just go percent app data percent roman 
and then dot minecraft again and you'll be here again we're just inside dot minecraft now none of you should have a mods folder so we have to create one so what you're going to do is right click on it and you want to go new and you want to go folder and you want to call this mods make sure this is in lowercase letters not capitals make sure it's in lowercase double click it inside the folder create another folder called zombie spelled z o m b e as the mod name and I double click that and you want to highlight the, the, all the text files inside the zombie mod pack and drag them into the zombie folder which you just created inside your dot minecraft now you can close out your zombie mod pack you're finished with uh, the mods and it'll work now but now we need to go to our config.txt and uh, this should be at the top you want to double click it now the, here is a lesson if when this got there's a good few mods in this so as you can see you can turn clouds off and the main one what you're probably looking for is the fly mod so all you have to do is scroll down a bit and you'll see the fly mod aka flying which I think that's why most of you have this mod and all you have to do is take away the hashtag hashtag in front of mod fly enabled take that away and then that will enable you to fly so make sure you do this for a few things and you can mess around with this once you get to read the top bit and once you get the hang of it you can mess around with all the other mods that is inside this text and you can uh, mess around with them and change the speed which you can fly and all that cool uh, things you can do with this so that is your config text it's very important now all you have to do is go file and save and once that's saved you can exit out of it and you can exit out of your .minecraft you are finished so all you have to do is open your minecraft now and uh, you might have to change your controls around you can also do that in the config text um, you can change which letters you can use to fly up down and like I said the config text is uh, the big thing that makes this mod uh, spawn and mess around with it so I'm going to log in and we're going to go through my world build it terrain and I'm just inside this world I just created and all you do is press F and as you can see at the top right corner left corner top left corner you'll see flying and uh, how you fly is the controls as you can see once I press E for up it opens my entry so all you do is, to do is go to your controls and you can mess around with them in here so like I said guys it is pretty easy to install but if you have any problems leave a comment and also leave a rating and you can mess with me on any other mods you would like me to do a tutorial on so yeah guys thanks for watching